everything you guys need to know about it before you go ahead and tackle those interview questions. So let's get at it. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and understand what a binary tree really even is. This is a rough skeleton of a binary tree. Why is this called a binary tree? Because it resembles something like this. Uh, maybe if you flip it upside down, there you go. It really resembles something like this, an upside down tree. So if you look at an upside down tree, you have a root and you would have the branches and then you would have the leaves itself. Very similar to those terminologies, we also form the lingo for the binary tree itself. The four things you need to know is what a root node is, what a child node is, what a leaf node is, and what a parent node is. The root node is that particular node right there. Each node, just like the root node, can have at most two children. It can have one child, it can have zero children, but no more than two children. Hence, it's called a binary tree. These two nodes are children of the root node, which becomes a parent. This node has two more children, this node right here and this node right here. So these two nodes become the children and the parent for those two nodes becomes this node itself, right? So now you know what a root node is, what children nodes are, and you also know what a parent and child node is. The only thing you guys need to know now is what a leaf node is. Nodes with no children are called leaf nodes. For example, this node is a leaf node because it has no more children. When we refer to binary trees, we very often talk about binary search trees. And I'm gonna teach you what a binary search tree is. So now since you guys understand what a binary tree is, let's go about understanding what a binary search tree is. So this right here is called a binary search tree. But why is it called a binary search tree? Do you guys see something very interesting? If you guys don't, let me show you. If I was to draw a line in the middle of this tree at the root node, if you look at all of the values on the left side of that particular root node, all the values are lesser than the value in the root node itself. Five, three, nine, one, four are all lesser values than 10. But if you go to the right side of this particular root node, you're going to find all the values is way larger than 10. 20, 15, 25, 14, 19, and 30, all greater than 10. So now, this is why we call it a binary search tree because it has a very unique property of how the values are placed in the tree itself. This property that I just talked about is what defines what a binary search tree is. All the values in a binary search tree on the left side of a node is going to be lesser than the node itself all the values on the right side of the node is going to be greater than the value in the node itself. So let me show you guys with a smaller example. This is also a binary search tree. Why? Because if we were to look at five, which is a root node, if you look at the left side of five, we have three, which is lesser than five itself. And if you were to look at the right side of five, it's nine, which is greater than five. Any node that you look at in this tree will have that particular property. If you look at node number five, look at the left side of five. It's going to be values all lesser than five itself. And then look at the right side of five. All the values on the right side are going to be greater than five. Every single node in a binary search tree will follow this property. So why is this interesting? Why do people even use this? Let me show you an example. This is an array. Let's fill this array with values such as this. Okay, now since it's filled up, I'm gonna ask you, find me 14 in this array. Like a normal person, you're gonna to go to the first element and say, okay, is this 14? No, it's not. Then let me go on to the next element. Is this 14? No, it's not. Let me go to the next element. Is that 14? No, it's not. So in that particular format, you're going to go and traverse every single element in this data structure called an array. Link lists work the same way. You're going to have to travel to every single node. God forbid your element is at the end of that list. You're gonna have, have to travel to every single element to find what you're looking for. We need to make this easier because if this array becomes a billion values or a trillion values, what are you gonna do? Walk through every single element till the end to find that value? So this is where a binary tree really comes in handy. So now we're gonna use this binary search tree to really understand why is using a binary search tree better than using a linear data structure such as an array or a linked list to find an element. I'm gonna ask you to find me 14 
in this binary search tree. So you're gonna start at the root node and you're going to remember the properties that I told you. All the nodes greater than the value in the root node is going to be on the right side of that root node. And all the nodes lesser than the value of this root node is going to be on the left side of that particular root node. And it's always gonna be that way. So you're gonna look at the value in the root node, which is 10, and you're gonna question yourself. Is 14 greater or lesser than my root node? And 14 is greater than 10. So knowing the properties of a binary search tree, you're going to know that 14 is going to lie somewhere on the right side of the root node. So do you see what you've just done there? You've basically eliminated the five nodes on the left side of the root node 10. You don't even have to look at these nodes. So you've narrowed down your search of 14 to only these six nodes right here. Let's go ahead and see how BSTs make searching more easier. Now, since you know that 14 is greater than 10, you know that 14 is going to lie somewhere on the right side of 10 itself. So you walk from 10 to the next node on the right side, which is 20. So you do the same questioning again. Is 14 greater than or lesser than 20? Okay, 14 is less than 20. So if it's less than 20, it should lie on the left side of that particular node, right? So now you've narrowed your search down even more to only these three nodes and you've eliminated those nodes completely. And at that point, you walk down the left side and you reach node number 15, and then you question again. Is 14 less than or greater than 15? It's less than 15, so it's going to be on the left side of 15, and then you've eliminated 19 completely. You don't even have to go there. So you just walk down the left side of that particular tree and you reach node 14. So you've basically cut down the search of that particular node in half. So this is why you use a binary search tree. The reason why people use it so often is because they wanna cut the search time down in approximately half. In an array or a linked list, which are linear data structures, if you were to search for this node, you would have to traverse through every single node to actually find what you're looking for. Okay, now since you guys know what a binary tree is, what a binary search tree is, the terminologies and the properties of a binary search tree, now we're gonna learn about how to actually insert a new value into the binary search tree. The new node that I'm gonna insert into this binary search tree is node eight. To do this, you're gonna follow two very simple steps. Step number one is you're gonna check if a node even exists at the particular point you're looking at. If there is no node that exists, then just insert your new node into that position and you're done. But if there is a node that exists at that point, you're gonna move on to step two. And step two is to take the value of your new node and then compare it with the value of the node you're currently looking at. If the value of your new node is lesser than the value of the node you're currently looking at, you're gonna to move to the left side of that node. If your new node's value is greater than the value of the node you're currently looking at, you're gonna to move to the right side of that node. And you're gonna follow these two steps at every iteration of this process. You take your new node eight and you start at node at the root. Step number one is to check if there is even a value at that root. If there's no value, then eight will go in that position and that becomes your root node. But in this case, we have value 10 at the root node. So we have to move on to step number two. Step number two is to take your value eight and compare it with the value in your root node, which is 10. Is eight greater than or lesser than 10? Eight is lesser than 10. So you have to move to the left side of your binary search tree. When you move to the left side of your binary search tree, you reach node number five. Now you're gonna follow the two steps again. So step number one is ask yourself if there's a if there's actually a node at that particular point in the tree. If there's no node, just put your node eight there. But there is a node and that node has a value of five. So you move on to step two. Is eight lesser than or greater than five? Eight is greater than five. So you go to the right side of that particular node and you reach this node right here, which is nine. Step one obviously is not valid because there is a node nine in that particular position. So you go on to step two. You ask yourself, is eight greater than or lesser than nine? eight is lesser than nine so you know you're moved to the left side of nine which is right here let's do step one again in step one you're going to ask okay now we're moved to the left side of nine is there a node in that position and you notice that there's no node in that position at all so all you have to do is take eight and put it in that position this becomes the new position for eight this is the same method you're going to follow in the coding process as well i do it in python so it's easy for you to implement in any interview so go ahead and click this link to watch that particular video. But with that said, 
I've completed this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys did, please leave a like and subscribe. Peace.